Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm just going to give you a quick review on the Strawberries and Cream Bath Bomb. So this little bath bomb is a part of Lush's uh, regular line range. Uh, it has been around for quite a while now. Uh, it is characterized as looking like a strawberry with a bit of cream in the middle, basically. So it looks like a strawberry that's been divided um, vertically. So it looks like that kind of thing. Um, and it's got a beautiful cocoa butter um, sort of filling in the middle, which makes it extremely moisturizing in the bath and very luxurious. So I'm just going to share my thoughts. Um, so this was such a beautiful, beautiful foamer. Uh, it just, it didn't fizz um, like a lot of Lush bath bombs do. This was more of a foamer and it had a more foamy consistency as it melted. Um, I did say in my previous review of Aubergine Bath Bomb uh, that usually when the bath bombs from Lush are, um, have more like butters, like cocoa butter, shea butter, moisturizing ingredients, they tend to foam in the bath rather than fizz. That's sort of how you know, um, yeah, if, if it's going to be more of a moisturizing bath bomb or if it's going to be more of a just regular everyday sort of bath bomb that's going to just give you lovely bath art and a lovely scent. So it's sort of like a, a little bit of an extra product if you get what I mean because Lush sell bath oils as well and bath oils are meant to moisturize your skin as well in a very similar way. So I quite like buying these types of bath bombs because it's sort of like getting another product inside a bath bomb if that makes sense. Um, I actually used the strawberries and cream last night. I shaved my legs. I usually put body conditioner on my uh, legs after I've shaved them, but I decided to use the strawberries and cream bath bomb as my water to shave in instead. So when I shave, I usually use a Lush shower gel or a Lush soap. I believe I used Honey I Wash the Kids shower gel last night. Um, and yeah, I, I thought, oh, I'm going to see how moisturizing this bath is because when I shave, I have really sensitive skin. And if I don't moisturize pretty much straight after the bath, once I've towel dried, my skin is very red. It's very inflamed. I am as pale as a sheet of paper. So it, um, it can definitely affect me in that way. So what I will say is it definitely moisturized me that the cocoa butter was just beautiful and moisturizing and lovely. Now, the scent of the bath bomb was fantastic. Uh, it was very, very strawberry-like. Uh, the water was a beautiful color as well. It started off very sort of pinky, reddy kind of thing as the bath bomb was dissolving. Uh, but by the end, I had kind of like a very vibrant, reddy, orange color in the bath, which was kind of interesting like I can see why it did that because there was a little bit of green um, from the little um, stalk and the little top of the strawberry um, so I'm guessing the green sort of contributed to making it more of an orangey color um, but yeah I I have no complaints this was a perfect bath bomb perfect experience great bath art um, very very nice to lay in um, and yeah it did the job it, it did more than what it was meant to do a bath bomb. It was just meant to be a bath bomb and it moisturized my body as well. So it's definitely a five out of five product for me. Um, and yeah, I would definitely recommend repurchasing this. I am thinking of repurchasing this myself. Um, I'm very glad I finally took the plunge and tried it. Yeah. So uh, I will have a demo on this bath bomb in the next video that is uploaded. It is a full length demo. Um, it's not sped up, anything like that. It is my phone, one perspective shot. Uh, if that sounds like something you're interested in, then stay tuned uh, and yeah, check it out for yourself and see it in action for yourself. And you'll see it actually took a long time for the cocoa butter to fully dissolve. So that was quite an interesting uh, touch for that bath bomb. Yeah, so that's all from me for now. If you're interested in any of my other Lush reviews, please go and click the playlist. Uh, I have reviewed 
lots and lots and lots of products uh, from Lush. It's well over 150 now. Um, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, uh, please go and um, check out the rest of them. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.